It started as back pain, then it got progressively worse, and it turned out to be a rare condition called CES. In Health Watch, Shelly Botan tells us how her doctor finally relieved a local woman's pain. Brandy had been living with back pain and was diagnosed with a herniated disc. For a while, it was controlled through steroid shots. But then the herniated disc caused a very rare condition, and only surgery would relieve the pain. Brandy Robinson has no problems lifting her kids or playing with them. You know, they want me to get down on the floor and play with them, and I am able to. Five months ago, she couldn't. Her problems started with a herniated disc in her lower back. Pain every day. Um, very irritable. Um, couldn't do a lot because it was like constant. Brandy did receive a steroid injection that helped for a while, but then one day... I put my daughter in the high chair and there was a pop and I couldn't get up. So she went to the emergency room at Aurora Baycare Medical Center where she got pain meds and was sent for another shot and MRI. At this point it was I could take a few steps and I'd have to stop because the pain was that bad. So she went back to the ER for another MRI. She was also having incontinence issues. That's when the ER doctor called Dr. Gerald Eckert, a cerebral vascular neurosurgeon, to look at the scans. As soon as she left the hospital, she got a call. Dr. Eckert called me and told me to turn around. And go where? To the emergency room. What did he say? He said, you're having surgery right now. Brandy's herniated disc had grown significantly, putting intense pressure on her spinal cord. She developed a rare condition called CES. Caudia equina syndrome is the tr symptoms of typically caused by a large disc herniation that includes weakness, back pain, and also urinary or bowel incontinence. Brandy needed surgery immediately or... She could have had permanent loss of control of her bladder or loss of function of her legs. Dr. Eckert performed a laminectomy, removing bone to get to the herniated disc to perform a discectomy. So once this lamina is off, then underneath that is where the dura and the nerves are held in the thecal sac, or the bag of nerves. You pull that aside and the disc is right underneath it and then you can just reach it and pull it out. And the surgery was a success. She's made an excellent recovery. After physical therapy, Brandy was back to work in a few weeks, and now nine months later... Amazing when you don't have to wake up in extreme pain. After surgery, Brandy did lose feeling in one leg, but that is slowly returning. To learn more, you can call Aurora Baycare or email healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.